Hello friends, welcome back to our kitchen. Today we're making cassava crackers with rosemary and tomato sauce and the simple ingredients. Here we have cassava flour. It's the normal cassava flour, very much available over here. Here we have rosemary that is dried. We have tomato sauce. I'll give a link in the description below of how you can make it. Here we have Himalayan salt and garlic powder. We have here some flax meal. It's just flax seeds that you have grounded. Here I have oil, cooking oil, and water. Check the exact ingredients in the description box below. So I have two bowls. One bowl I'll mix the wet ingredients, and another one I'll mix the dry ingredients. So I'll begin with the dry ingredients. I'm adding my cassava flour. Um, I'll follow this with my flax meal. These crackers are gluten free. So if you're gluten free, this is a very good option for your snacks. Here I've added my rosemary. They are dry as well. And lastly, to our garlic and Himalayan salt. Instead of rosemary, you can use oregano. You can also use um, sage or basil, whichever herbs that suit your taste. Yeah. So mix this until they're evenly mixed. Then once this is done, we'll follow with mixing our wet ingredients. So we'll take the other bowl. Um, here we go. The beauty of mixing them separately is that you ensure the mixtures have mixed well. The dry ingredients are well mixed and the wet ingredients are mixed as well. Right now I've added my water and oil. I'll follow this with my tomato sauce. You can use as much as you wish. I just made a small batch because um, I live alone and then yeah so mix this very quick and as you always do take your wet ingredients and add to your dry ingredients and begin by mixing with a spatula then gradually we'll graduate to our hands so we we'll have to use clean hands yeah these crackers um you can use you can eat them anytime anytime i mean you can eat them as a snack as a dessert um even as a meal guys if you mix it with some other things of course savory yeah so we're moving to our hands we'll knead it until it shapes to a ball do not be worried about the quantity of water and oil. It, it will come perfectly well. Or if you fear, maybe you can begin by adding small drops of water as you mix. So this is how it looks like. My battery ran out, so it had to rest for 30 minutes. And it was just okay. What you wish to do, we'll put the dough between two parchment papers and roll it out so that it may be very flat we want crackers that are crunchy and very thin as well so roll it until it's one inch thick a very very small thickness as I'll, i will be showing you just right now mm, it's very thick very thin sorry yeah that's the thick thinness or the amount of thickness that you need so you can use a knife or a pizza cutter here i already have my baking tray when i am done slicing or shaping it into some crackers i'll just transfer it directly so you can use a knife make it to whatever shapes you wish to make and while the, you're doing this, preheat your oven at a temperature of 170 degrees Celsius 
or 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, as you're preheating it, you'll bake it for 40 minutes. So this will go in for 40 minutes. We want a crunchy um, kind of crackers, not chewy like cookies, but very crunchy like biscuits. Um, don't mind the evenness of my crackers. <laughs> you can always make very even ones at home. Yeah. So here they go to the oven. And after 40 minutes, we remove them. And this is how they look like. So we are separating them so that they can dry up well. And once that is done, this is how they came out. And voila, they are very crunchy. Just get to hear the sound. Remember when you ate this, ate this to the glory of God. Remember to be a channel of light, whatever the Lord has placed you. If you like this recipe, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscription box and the notification bell so you get notified whenever we upload a new recipe. Bye!